One of the most common ways for creating uh, surfaces is through the use of the loft tool um, or the technique of lofting profile curves. So uh, we can loft uh, two or more curves. So for example, if I go in my top view and I create a polyline, say that I make one polyline that has certain angles like this, and then I'm going to draw another polyline poly line, uh, that's kind of offset from this one, but maybe it's not as drastic of angles, it doesn't have as, the angles as drastic as the previous one. And I'm going to move over to my perspective view, or expand this, and I'm just going to move this one up vertically so that they're offset from each other. So again, under the surface tools, um, I can find this tool, which is loft, or I can type in the command line loft. And I just select the curves to loft. So I'm going to select uh, this curve here and this other curve here and press enter. And you'll see that I get this dialog box that pops up. And right now we have some different um, options for creating a loft style. I'm going to leave this set to normal and also just the default settings of do not simplify and hit OK. Let me switch this to the shaded viewport and we can see uh, the, kind of the lofted surface we've uh, created. So um, one, one thing to kind of note about the loft command, if I delete this uh, surface and I loft these again, um, if I choose the end, the end uh, or towards uh, one end of the curve on w one curve, and on the other one I choose the opposite end of the curve and press uh, enter, you'll see that I, uh, I'm going to hit OK again, you'll see that I get this kind of twisted surface. So um, basically when you're creating lofts, you want to choose the same side of, of the, the curves that you're using. When I, ch when I choose the opposite ends, um, it ends up kind of creating this twisted result, which probably you don't, you don't want. Um, so I, um, another example is if I'm just going to delete these, and I'm going to draw uh, some other curves. So going back to my curve tools, I'm going to draw a hex shape. Uh, this time I'll change the number of sides to six. And I'll draw another hex shape starting at the same point. Maybe make this a little smaller. And I'll do the same thing. I'll move this up. And go back to my surface tools or just type in the command line uh, loft and I can select uh, these curves as well so again I'm going to choose the same kind of line segment to begin with we'll get a preview we see that they're both kind of starting um, at the same point uh, location on each curve and it shows us this white little arrow shows us the direction that it's uh, kind of moving in order to create the loft and we'll hit OK to that. So it's a very useful tool for generating many different types of shapes. Um, so the, this is these are two examples creating lofted surfaces with two profile curves, but we can use uh, more than two. So another example, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this again. I'm going to, this time I'm going to switch back to my four viewports. And um, I'm going to go back to my standard tab and create a few, a few different control point curves. So I'm going to create, let's say, uh, one curve that looks like so. And I'm going to create another one that 
that is maybe a similar starting point, but maybe a little more. slightly different, right? And then I'm going to take uh, the second one that I created. I'm going to slide this over. And I'm going to go back to this first one, and I'll just type in copy. And I'm going to copy this one. I'll hit ortho to keep it orthogonal. And I'm going to just roughly kind of choose the same distance. Um, so that this we have two curves going this these two curves are equal or the same and then our center curve is slightly different so this is another useful way is using our front viewports uh, to kind of draw in elevation I'm gonna go back to my perspective and now I'll type in the command line loft and again, I'm going to choose my curves to loft, and I'm going to, again, keeping in mind, choosing the, the kind of same uh, side of each curve. I'm going to select these three in a row. And we'll see our, again, the same options. Default, we'll leave it as they are. And now you can see that we start can start to create some pretty interesting kind of doubly curved complex kind of curved surfaces by using more than two profile curves. Um, so uh, the loft tool is really, really useful for creating a whole range of different types of surfaces.